Lani Chen, Republican candidate for California State Controller, joins me now. Lani, you just heard that report, I'm sure. If you became State Controller, could you do anything about this vaccine mandate in L.A.? Well, let's start, Stuart, with the fact that what you have in this state is you have a governor who is exercising, quote, emergency power to hand down all of these edicts, to basically make all of this policy. And I think the first thing we've got to do is to hold him accountable. And one of the things that controller can do from his or her perch is to hold other state officers accountable for their exercise of power. And whether it's this vaccine mandate with respect to kids, and I think there, there certainly is an argument to be made that parents need to be the ones who are in the middle of that conversation, whether it's that or other kinds of policies we see in the state, uh, you can have other state officials holding the governor accountable. And that's one of the things I would certainly try to do as controller is to make sure the governor is clear about when the exercise of this limitless executive power because of what is called a so-called state of emergency, when that can come to an end. We always think of California as deep, deep blue, thoroughly liberal all across the board. Can a Republican win a statewide race in California? Yeah, it's a question I get all the time. I, I think absolutely the answer is yes. And, and here's why, Stuart. It's because a lot of our state is independent. Uh, what you see in this state is, is one in three voters are actually independent voters. They're not Democrats. They're not Republicans. They want what's best for their families, for their kids, in the case of what we've been talking about here. And they are going to be open to voting for a candidate who can change the status quo here in California. I think we've seen far too many times where in California things are not headed in the right direction. We sure. see soaring gas prices. Yep. We see families struggling. And they're looking for change. And I think that is why there is an opportunity here. Again, uh, can you do anything about these soaring gas prices? You've got a new high. It's on the screen right now. $4.69 on average for regular gas in California. That's an astronomical price. Again, if you were elected state controller, can you do anything about it? I mean, can you directly do anything about it? Well, the, the controller is the chief accountability officer of this state. One of the things we've got to get to the bottom of, uh, Stuart, is why gas prices are so much higher here than they are in other states. And that's the kind of transparency and accountability absolutely the controller can speak directly to helping people understand why are our gas prices so high? Why are Sacramento politicians making things harder for California families? That is absolutely something the controller can do, something that I intend to do if I'm elected uh, next year. So the election is next year, next November of 2022. Are you we, we, the... We have a June primary and a November, yep. Okay, so you've got to go through the primary first against other Republicans, okay? We have an open primary system in California. There are no other Republicans running for this office right now. So Democrats and Republicans will fight it out, and the top two will go on to face each other next November. I hope you've got a shot, Lanny. I really do. It would like to, I'd love to see some change in California. I used to live there. It was so a golden I. state. Thank you. <laughs> Not as good as it was. Lanny, it was a pleasure. Please come back and see us again soon. Lanny Chen, appreciate it.